hey lovelies welcome back again to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking so yeah i promised i was going to do an hand sanitizer and teach you guys how to make hand sanitizer so yeah this is the video i must be using just three ingredients just three and yeah you are protected and guys don't forget hand sanitizer must contain alcohol so i'm using isopropyl alcohol 91 percent isopropyl alcohol i just put a little inside that container and i'm also using aloe vera gel in place of aloe vera gel if you have glycerin vegetable glycerin pure glycerin at home you can use it but i'm using aloe vera gel and i'm adding essential oil which is tea tree oil if you don't have tea tree oil you can use peppermint oil if you don't have any of that don't worry just use aloe vera gel and your alcohol i got this isopropyl alcohol at ojota market for in nigeria you know where ojota market is that's where i got the alcohol okay yeah so I'm going to be going ahead to do one, I'm going to be doing two types of hand sanitizer, the gel type and the spray type. So first off, I'm going to be using the gel type, okay? So I'm going to be putting one tablespoon of aloe vera gel inside our container. I'm trying to show you guys the measurements of the spoon is one tablespoon of aloe vera gel. So... I'm going to be putting it inside. Okay, I've already kept it inside the cup. <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to be adding is the alcohol. So guys, um, I was showing you the um, quantity of alcohol I got from Ojota Market. So because of this video, I want to make just a very small quantity. That's why I put just a little inside that Ragolis keg. To make this spray, you have to make your alcohol more than your aloe vera gel guys don't forget i added one tablespoon of, of aloe vera gel so now i'm going to be adding three tablespoon of alcohol inside the con inside the cup okay yeah your alcohol must be more than your aloe vera gel if you are making spray and sanitizer okay i'm going to be stirring all this together and yeah so at this point, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? And just click that subscribe button, okay? Subscribe to my channel. Subscription is free, okay? I like this video. Always give my video a thumbs up. It really helps other people that want to, to see this video to, to get to them, okay? So the next thing I'm going to be adding is the tea tree oil. Yeah, so I'm going to be adding just few... So guys, just few drops of tea tree oil. That measurement spoon I'm using is like the smallest of them all measurement spoon I have of all times. <laughs> it's like 0. Point something, 0. 0.5 or thereabouts. Yeah, that's what I use to measure the tea tree oil inside that mixture. So yeah, that's just it. You see how simple it is? You see how simple it is? Guys, if you want to use alcohol, please use rubbing alcohol. Use isopropyl alcohol, okay? Do not use other alcohols that are not effective, that they don't have this percentage. You must have, it must be higher than 60%, okay? It must be higher than 60%. That is the recognized hand sanitizer you can ever have, okay? So now I'm going to be pouring into this spray container. So guys, don't forget the measurements. I'm going to put it on the screen. We measured one tablespoon of aloe vera gel and three tablespoons of isopropyl alcohol. If you want to make it more, more quantity or larger quantity, all you need to do is just make sure your alcohol is three times more than your aloe vera gel, okay? If you want your aloe vera gel to be two tablespoons, make sure your alcohol is four tablespoons like that like that like that okay so that is how you spray your alcohol you're spraying alcohol on your ends and yeah you're good to go so now let's move to the second hand sanitizer so guys before you start anything make sure your hands are washed 
very well then you can start mixing your hand sanitizer make sure your hands are clean properly so this is the second hand sanitizer this is like a gel form this is the normal one you see at the pharmacy and at the supermarket this is the normal one you will see everywhere so it's way different from what i did the last the first one rather so i'm going to be adding so i'm going to be adding four tablespoon of aloe vera gel yeah four tablespoon of aloe vera i'm going to put all this on this screen so that you guys will not be confused okay so four tablespoon of aloe vera gel and four tablespoon of isopropyl alcohol yes you know the first one the alcohol was more than the aloe vera gel but the second one the they are going to be the same thing they're going to be equal proportion that is what is going to give you your gel form So you guys can see the consistency you can see that it's thicker than the first one yeah, that's exactly how the gel just don't forget our tea tree oil if you know you don't have any essential oil you're good to go it's not all hand sanitizer that smells nice it's not all hand sanitizer that you need to use essential oils but if you have these two essential oil which is tea tree and peppermint try and use one okay and just add few drops of it it really helps with the hand sanitizer and helps with good fragrance as well okay so i'm going to stir everything together you stir it very well because this one is kind of thicker than the first one so the aloe vera gel is still very thick inside the alcohol so all you need to do is stir it very very well and fast okay So guys, that is the end of the hand sanitizer. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and to, and to comment and to share it to your friends and family. Don't forget to wash your hands. Don't forget to be safe and stay safe wherever you are, wherever you are, okay? So that you protect yourself. And if you can make this in larger quantity, feel free to give it to your friends and family even your neighbors closed door it will really really help okay so i'll see you guys in my next video bye